Okay, so let's jump into this video and talk about our alternate fuel and spark timing correction tables we're going to be working with in our Haltech software. So in the last couple of videos, we went over different kinds of fuel and ignition strategies, and uh, we understand how little it's going to work. Now we have some additional fuel and ignition correction tables that we can implement. We're going to be taking a look at how those could integrate into our tuning and taking a look at our generic correction tables. It's going to be a user definable correction that we can set up if we find something that needs to be altered for fuel or ignition. So it's a pretty nice feature that has in the software. We're going to be taking a look at how to work with that as well. So without further wait, let's jump in so we can check all this out. All right, so let's get started here. We're going to be taking a look at both our fuel and ignition corrections that we haven't already discussed in the last couple previous videos. So if we look here under ECU Navigator, we'll be finding we have our coolant and air temp corrections for both fuel and our spark timing. We're familiar with what those do. We're going to have some additional tables that we haven't talked about and worked with yet that we can implement. We can see how they're going to be working. And then we're going to be taking a look at our individual fuel and ignition corrections that we're going to have available to us so that we can go in and compensate for one or two cylinders that may not be running the same as the rest. So that's going to be really powerful and programming for our tuning. We can avoid having a situation where we have a blown cylinder if one of our injectors maybe doesn't flow like the rest or we don't have equal distributed airflow to all the cylinders, which is uh, something that absolutely can happen with our intake manifold design. So let's move up here and take a look at some of these tables. Let's jump up into our setup. Let's jump into our fuel first and we're going to be seeing that we have a couple things here under fuel tables that we can turn back on and then we can see what they're going to be looking like here. So I'm going to go up and click my zero demand. I'm going to click my map correction, my barrow, my cylinder correction, and my gear correction. We're going to be leaving our fuel comp correction off right here. This is going to be related if we have ethanol or flex fuel and it's going to be our compensation factor. We're going to be looking at that in another video, so we're going to skip over that. We're also going to be seeing we have these generic corrections here. I'm going to enable one of those, and we can see once I start to click these, we're able to go in and uh, have them add it to our fuel under this ECU navigator. We're going to be seeing they appear here. So let's go look at these first, and then we're going to be checking out our spark timings, spark timing tables. I'll click Apply, click OK. I'm going to go ahead, Control F12. That's going to reset my ECU, so I'm going to let it to reset. And then we're going to be taking a look here at our couple tables that we've added. So I'm going to jump into my actual VE tuning. So we're looking at this in uh, our fuel tuning window. So looking here down the list, the first one we're going to be finding is zero demand. Now our zero demand table is something that we talked about when we were looking at our spark timing in uh, the previous video. And we found that we utilize this zero demand, which is already enabled in the calibration file, um, for correction of our ignition timing based on what our engine RPM is operating at. It gives us a way that we can um, force more or less torque production from the engine and again that in, in turn gives us our control, our roundabout control over what our idle is doing. Now in the case of the zero demand fuel table, we're going to be finding that this is going to be specifying the VE value that should be coming from our fuel injectors at idle. So again, once we're below that certain percentage of throttle which is going to be found from, let's jump into this table here, into main, Looking at 